Welcome everybody! Of course, it's Rob. Ta-da! Star Wars tutorial. This one is actually one of my favorite ones because, of course, everybody loves an Imperial. That's right, an Imperial costume. Stormtroopers, officers, guards. But, unfortunately, I won't be doing the hat. Not yet. Actually, what we will be doing is actually making this cog and doing this one. Ta da Imperial belt. I'll walk through the tutorial. We're going to do the buckle first. But I'm going to walk you through the tutorial of how to make one of these onto this one on American cosplay, Star Wars style. Butcha! So, Master Grumpy Yoda, tell us the difficulty of this cosplay. Hmm, three. Three is the number. So here we go. It's pretty basic to do this. It's not very hard, um, but. Basically, the, the key you want to grab is a blank candy leather or pretty much any type of, I believe Michaels may carry on too. If not, definitely candy leather at tandyleather.com. Order yourself a belt blank. And a lot of times what you're going to do is you're going to end up with a belt blank such as this. Pretty simple belt blank, as you can see. Nothing too extravagant. Belt goes here, put a hole there. Done. Now. Of course, what you have to do is now is to drill a hole. So what you want to do is grab like a quarter inch drill, drill bit, find the center of the bu buckle by using a measuring, however you want to do is, is a ruler or however you want to do it. Drill your hole nice and wide. A quarter inch bit should take care of that. But once that's done, you got to go to Ace Hardware. Now, I will be posting up the breakdown of the size of these washers but basically you grab yourself two fender washers a smaller washer to create a gap in between because they are supposed to be like cog wheels and of course you have two smaller washers and which goes in between there and then of course the old Chicago screw, or they call them flathead screws, whichever you want to do. Pretty simple. Grab the one that has the hole and go to your local Ace Hardware. Ace is the place, and this is not sponsored by Ace, but is the place which you want to go to to grab these little dribblies. So, once you've drilled your hole, pretty simple. Grab that unit, which is this one right here. Grab the next washer, place it like so. Then grab another washer that will allow, create spacing, but you will not see with the visible eye. There's a, there's a hard part and a rounded part. I like using the rounded part on the outside. Creates the first cog. Then grab the next washer, the fender washer with the hole into the middle. And then the smaller washer like so. And then this washer right here. Now, that should give you the breakdown like so. Of course, then take your Chicago screw, your threaded side, put it in the back of the blank and then put this one on top. Once the two meet up, go ahead and hand screw them down like so. Do, 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 do. And then of course get a flat head as you can see right here and go ahead and 
screw that together. Now, don't do it all the way. You have to kind of set the top ones. The bottom ones will center up nicely, but the top ones have to be centered. So once that's done, turn that over, tighten it down, and there you have is a nice imperial cog with a bunch of washers. This is the one that I've got from the replica. So the next step, of course, would be to go ahead and put a notch into that. You can do that if you like to. It's completely up to you, but nice, nice little eighth inch notch into that should take care of that. If not, you can leave it as is, whichever you want to do, like I did here. Now, there's a couple other things you could do to it. Um, since these have these really rough edges right here, you can take some heavy grade sandpaper and then take it down to grit and sand it down until it's almost unnoticeable. Um, a real good example would be what I have here. Same belt blank, but it's redone with with the octagon edge with the edges cut off to create the octagon look. Sand it down to give it satin, and then I sealed it with, of course, some nice glossy acrylic spray paint. Other side, same thing, but that's the type of finish you can get from it. Polish it up with some steel wool. Make sure you get off the burrs. Be very careful if you want to, um, or be reckless if you want to, whichever you want to do. And that's that's how I make that belt blank which is the Imperial one. Ta -da! Well, I hope you like what we did. It's actually a pretty basic way to make an Imperial belt blank or belt buckle. Um, but what's really cool about the whole thing is it's simple and expensive. It's $5 for the buckle. Um, it's probably another maybe a dollar or two for the washers. If you pick them up Ace Hardware, you can buy them in singles or in doubles. You don't have to buy them in bulk. But on the list below, we'll show you the items that you need to make that belt blank. So, have a good one, pay it forward, be safe. May the force be with you. Always, American Cosplay, Star Wars style.